Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to look at installing the Epic Games Launcher on Manjaro using Lutris. But first, before we continue any further into the video, I would like to thank my channel members. These people get early access to videos such as this one right here, and they are Miss Love and Alex Exists. So I'd like to thank them, and let's get on into the video. Now, as you can see here, we've got just a basic build, a basic install of Manjaro. Uh, just, again, do a quick NeoFetch. I have just installed it. As you can tell, it's running in a virtual environment, uh, considering it's Red Hat uh, virtual I.O. It's just a virtual machine using the manager. Now, before we do a couple things, we want to change the pacman config to allow for more packages to download simultaneously to do that we want to do sudo nano slash uh, slash etc slash pacman.conf or pamac.conf or um we could you know check it nope wrong one firefox there we go, because apparently I have forgotten, so pacman.conf, etc pacman.conf, okay, so, I've just realised that it was indeed incorrect the first time, there we go, so we're now at pacman.conf, all we want to do is we want to change parallel downloads, now, what we can do is just find parallel downloads in this case uh, it says four but for me i'm just going to set that to 10 so it can download 10 packages at the same time yes enter and now what we can do is go through the process of installing uh, lutris now we've got a choice we can either go to we can download lutris uh, directly so lutris we can download it directly from their website uh, in this case, it gives us a choice for operating systems. If we were using Nobara, we could install it from there. Or Pop Shop, Steam OS. Uh, if, we, if we want to use Flatpak, which we don't. Uh, Debian, uh, Ubuntu based packages, Fedora, uh, OpenSUSE. I said OpenSUSE. Uh, Manjaro, in this case, we could install it using that. Or uh, we could do the. Uh, the store drop even so it's add or remove software in this case so we can do it through this and then go pacman not pacman lutris but in this case we're just going to install it via the command line because that's easier so uh, sudo pacman hyphen hyphen s lutris and then this will ask us if we want to do this. Yes, it's going to download 13 packages. It'll do four at a time. Um, so let's get the requisite files it needs. And this, in this case, it's .lutris. And then here is Lutris. It's just going to download uh, any additional packages it may need. So in this case, uh, controllers, uh, v v Graphics drivers for the Voodoo 2. Uh, I love how it still exists. Uh, Battleite, networking tools, as well as some Ubuntu stuff. That was not what I was expecting to see here. Some DXVK stuff. So whilst we wait for those to download, we are going to go to the... Okay, so the function to restore it down wasn't working. But I love that. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the games section on the Lutris website. This is going to let us download software that is available on the Lutris website to download. So in this case, we could go through and play a load of old games if we wanted to. But in this case, we just want Epic Games. So to do that, we're just going to do Epic. And then uh, AGP Epica, uh, Disney Epic Mickey. We don't want that. Uh, Epic Car Factory notes, so we're going to search for 
Epic Games. And what we have here is the Epic Games stores by Epic Games, published by Epic Games. So we actually have a software developer who's released their own runner and installer for Epic, or for their own installer for their own software on available for Linux, which is rather a surprise. So now that we have, now that this has finished installing all the extra stuff it needs to, what we can do is we just do install. Uh, yes, we will allow Lutris.net to open Lutris links. And it's just going to do the usual install, the well, install of software in the correct place and just download it from the place of interest. So as we can see here, it's downloading a package from Glorious Egg Rolls repository of Wine uh, GE Custom. And just GE Proton for Wine 8.26, uh, 64-bit version. We really are that far ahead. So once this is downloaded, it will then go through the process of installing Wine. Well, installing the Epic Game Store. This is just the version of Proton slash Wine that we will need to get things to run. Proton is a software suite developed by Valve for using with games. Now, what we're going to do here is just going to wait for this to finish. Whilst we're waiting for this to finish, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. <coughs> And hit that notification bell where you get notifications of videos being released, such as this one right here. So this is now finished downloading. It will go through the process of installing shortly. We're just waiting for the final uh, 0.6 megabytes. There we go. So here is the Ubisoft uh, Connect installer for software that may need it, as well as the Epic Games installer, microinstaller.msi. So we're just going to select install. This is going to download the other two bits of software that we will need. Again, this very much does depend on your internet connection speed as well as where you are located in relation to said server. Uh, as we can see here, the Epic Games launcher is coming down just fine. And the Ubisoft being, well, Ubisoft, it's going to take just a little bit longer than normal. Which I have to say, is that really much of a surprise there, Ubisoft? No, it's not. So these will be done, and then we'll be able to proceed forward with the installation. Uh, whilst we're waiting for this, we can actually have a look to see what else is available uh, on the Lutris website. And we can actually have a look to see what's being published by Epic Games. So there's Epic Pinball for Fortnite. Uh, Fall Guys, Gears of War, because it's been the original Gears of War public, but published by the Microsoft Game Studio, which is a surprise. One Must Fall, uh, Jazz Jack Rabbit 1 and 2, uh, Tyrion, the Unreal Engine 4, believe it or not, is also available for Lutris. Unreal Tournament uh, 04, 3 and 4. So Epic have gone through the process of actually releasing a decent chunk of software especially their own proprietary stuffs in the form of the unreal as well as the unreal engine 4 made it available for linux through lutris which is a nice surprise and which we all very much like to see uh, on linux now that this is just about finished downloading uh the install process the install process is now starting here uh, it's just making the wine configuration this may recognize that we do not have Wine Mono or Wine Gecko installed. Uh, those are just uh, extra software packages that are that may be required for Wine to function correctly. Uh, that will go through the process of detection and then tell us when it's done. So this is just a sit and wait moment sometimes. So we just have to, we may have just just to sit and wait. There we go. We will get words out and wait for this to finish uh, installing. Uh, welcome back. Sometimes this is an error that occurs. Uh, we get a, a error with installation software just because uh, Lutris does not like. Uh, we will not remove game files and we will try again because in this process of actually doing what it was doing, uh, it 
also uh, was installing the packages that was needed for one. So in this case, yes, we will continue. Uh, we will once again do this. Now, sometimes this does work, sometimes this doesn't work. This appears to be uh, one of those times, but this is how you would install uh, Epic Games on uh, Linux. Now, unfortunately, this is a, a bit of a failure with Manjaro, as is kind of expected with Manjaro. I haven't had good luck with it since it stopped working for me a few years ago, and nowadays I personally do not recommend it at all. But if you liked the video, maybe consider liking, uh, maybe consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell whilst you're there. Uh, I have been Nick, you have been amazing, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.